Dogecoin looks like it's getting a breakout to the downside right now. In my last video, I was talking about how we either had a bear flag pattern or just a triangle pattern and we could go to the upside or the downside, but it looks like we're going to the downside now. And it looks like, so we had declining volume, we had a nice little volume pump right here, two volume candles of red, and we're already almost down to the 50% level, which is sitting at $1.15646. I'm actually more targeting .13786 now, and just in my opinion. Um, that's the target. I'm actually, my limit order is actually sitting at .140, or dot, you know, 14 cents, sorry. And yeah, so th that's what I'm looking at on that chart. But I also wanted to talk about the total crypto market cap and the Bitcoin 2 uh, Dogecoin chart and the Bitcoin dominance chart. So let's go ahead and take a look at those because that's going to give us another idea of how Dogecoin is going to be doing in the future. So let's go ahead first and go to Dogecoin to Bitcoin. So if you go to, let's go to the four hour for now. We had, a, I was looking at a couple different things. So let's actually go to the one hour real quick, um, smaller time frame. So we had support right here, support right here, support right here. We're basically trending up. If on this chart, it's Dogecoin to Bitcoin. So on this chart, when it's trending up, then it's good for Dogecoin. And when it's trending down, it's better to be in Bitcoin than it is Dogecoin because it's Dogecoin's either holding value or it's just better to be in Dogecoin or uh, Bitcoin. Bitcoin when it's going down, Dogecoin when it's going up. And okay, so we had this uptrend and then we broke it going to the down. So it would have been better to be in Dogecoin on this way down. And then also, if we go to the daily time frame. I was also watching these supports right here. We had support, support, giving me this trend line. We also broke that one just now. So the next support that I'm watching, that I'm hoping that we can get a bounce on or you know, find support, basically we have some room to go down right now. We're basically free falling to this next support, which is this support and this support, although this is a wick. So let's kind of, let's redraw this. Let's see from this bottom to this bottom. We already broke that. Um, yeah, I mean, that's what I'm thinking. We could also draw a horizontal line too right here because we did get support right there. Um, so yeah, basically what I'm thinking is there is some room to fall down to. And that's basically why I wanted to show you this because it does look like it's in a free fall. What you want to see on these charts is basically a downtrend you want to see a downtrend and then you want to see it break that downtrend going to the upside like for all in right here this it was better to be in dogecoin than it was to be in bitcoin but ever since right here on march 24th it's been trending down to bitcoin it would have been better to be in bitcoin bitcoin has been kind of going sideways or it's like kind of in a one spot compared to dogecoin where we're getting like these um uh, swing trades or not swing trades swing pattern or swings in the price should I say and so yeah it's trending up right now or it was it was trending up and then now it's trending down broke this resistance these two um, supports support support breaking that right now and then I'm thinking this line right here maybe will hold support maybe we can get a bounce on it and start doing something like that but if we go to the four hour time frame, maybe we can be forming some sort of trend line where we have resistance and then resistance. Let's see, something like this. So basically, if we can break, if we start forming this trend line and then we can break through it, that will be a signal that Dogecoin can start doing better. And as long as it's trending down, then we can start, we could, we could be more confident on our bearish targets going to the downside. And then also, let's go to the total crypto market cap. I was even thinking in my last, or actually, I think I mentioned this in my last video. I'm not sure, but yeah, I think I did. The total crypto market cap we have, um, or one of my videos, we have this pattern like this. We have resistance, 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 support. Support. We had support right here, it wicked down. And then support, support, giving me a trend line like this. We're actually breaking this trend line right now. And I have the Fibonacci retracement set up from the bottom to the top. And 
we still have some room to go down to the 38% and the 50%. I like watching both of these levels in a good scenario. Sometimes we could even go down to 61 um, 61 or I mean 61 is even I was looking at the Bitcoin chart and I think the f last the last bull run went down to like the 61 and then it went back up um, we could even take a look at that real quick I mean if you go to the Bitcoin chart and then it come over here uh, yeah this is what I was looking at so we're looking at the Bitcoin chart right now we had that big huge run came up to the top and then came down I was actually looking at the first one was like this you would set up the top to the bottom right there we came down to the 61 percent and then came back up broke that high but that was the end of the run right there so now what we're looking at is I'm curious if I mean if we're gonna do something similar where it's just going to be a dip, like it might be a huge dip and then start the run again. That's what I'm kind of curious is going to happen. Or basically, that's what I was watching on the other chart. But um, yeah, what was the other thing that I wanted to look at? Bitcoin to, oh, Bitcoin dominance too. I want to show you guys this too. So if we look at the Bitcoin dominance chart, it's basically running like crazy right now and the havings ha coming up pretty soon so this is kind of you know uh makes sense so yeah we had let me show you actually let's go to the weekly time frame this is a huge time frame we had resistance resistance giving me a trend line going to the downside we're actually breaking that trend line right now and as you can see it's running pretty i mean it's getting a nice little bump to the upside um, the other thing is we look we have support 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 giving me this trend line right here as long as it's going on this trend line Bitcoin is probably going to be either going sideways or less down than the others or pumping to the upside compared to like Dogecoin where we're getting like big huge moves I mean I, I, I I'm wondering if Bitcoin will go down to maybe um, I have a limit order at Bitcoin at six zero three one six the next Fibonacci level we actually I had a fib I had a limit order at the red one whoops sorry at the red one at let's see what is it sixty five thousand four hundred and ninety three and we came down we hit that and then got a bounce to the upside but it looks like we're coming back down to hit that again. So um, the next one that I'm looking at is around 60285. But that's on Bitcoin. Dogecoin, still think we can have some room to head down even further though. I think like, okay, so basically my point was is that it's probably like Bitcoin in percentage wise is probably going to go down further than like Bitcoin and that's why that chart's going to go up the 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 Dogecoin to Bitcoin chart's going to go down because Dogecoin has more potential to go down than Bitcoin maybe in my opinion and then uh, same with the dominance chart where Dogecoin's losing less money than a lot of other coins so it's kind of uh, either going sideways or going up or less down but this chart's moving up the Bitcoin dominance chart Hopefully that makes sense. Um, that's probably a lot. But yeah, the next target that I'm looking at on Dogecoin basically is um, this flag pattern going to the downside at mm, approximately 14 cents. And uh, yeah, those are the things that I'm looking at. I basically just wanted to show you the total crypto market cap and what Dogecoin was doing to uh, what Bitcoin was doing to Dogecoin. And just so you could get an idea of what else is happening compared to Dogecoin. All right. If you guys like the video, hit the thumbs up button. See you in the next one.